Well, we came outside to make a video. Olivia, you want a treat? Or something positive? Let y'all see Olivia. I'm not gonna make her do any tricks. She can sit and turn and all that, but well, wait, oh, she heard me say it. <laughs> I mean, she is something else. We're not gonna make her do any of that. Oh, we, you wanna look at the camera? That's a good girl. She's having a good day. This is what she likes to do. She likes to eat. And she's doing pretty good this morning. She was a little puny and came and laid at my feet. She needed comforting and it kind of concerned me. But now she's perked up quite a bit. We're getting a lot of wind out here. Right, Olivia? Um, let's see what she's doing. I wanted to show y'all the clematis. Look at this. That ought to make you feel good. And then there's one here. And isn't it just one of the most gorgeous most gorgeous flowers you've ever seen. If you watch my videos, there's a bunch of buds. If you've been watching them, uh, about a year ago maybe, um, I'm used to a year and a half, I had let a estate sale company know that I'm available to come get the any leftover. I'm gonna put her in. Well, I put her in. Uh, I'll keep talking, but look at that one. We like those. Come on, go on in. Get you some water. Yeah, she needs to go. Well, that was fun for her, though. I wanted y'all to see her. Uh, this right here, and I'll finish my story, that is a begonia that is the last part of it that's left at work they had two of them that when you go into a door you know they were there and last summer nobody watered them so I pinched some and it's a good thing because those that plant is dead both of those plants the mothers are dead because nobody takes care of them uh, I don't know if y'all remember when I got a real pretty teal pot and it's had soil in it. Well, these little succulents popped out of that soil. So I put that in there. This one's really doing well. That was a nice surprise. So yeah, this, so they called me one day and they said, uh, come on and get some of this stuff on this back patio, whatever's out here you can get, because the quicker they get out of the house, the sooner they're done. And so I showed up and hauled off some metal stuff, and then there was this pot. And I will take pots just because dirt is expensive. But it had, it was dried up like this. It looked like these. And nothing green, brought it home, stuck it in the back of the shed. And um, a few months, I don't remember how it went, but all of a sudden this grew out and that bloomed. And you can imagine. I was completely pleasantly flabbergasted. That window right there is the, is the jewelry room or the office or whatever you want to call it. Kind of windy today. Uh, my yard's a little wild. Uh, this is a flower bed. In the past I've tried to keep the leaves out of it. I'm not reaching my hands in there and I need to stay out of the pollen. But I also like, like this wild grass. I just like the way some things look. There's another clump of it. And so I'm not gonna be pulling that up. But, um, we have a pretty plant over here. It is a... Depending on the acidity of the soil, you either get a pink or a blue one. My friend got that from work for, you know, one of those like when they honor the boss or the secretary or the this and the that. She got that plant from some people at work. So we planted that and trying to let these blue bonnets seed. 
here's a couple of, these are going to be Easter lilies that are popping up there and there. But, uh, show y'all some wild violets. Yeah, it's springtime here. Watching where I'm walking. Let's see if we can get in the shade and see some of them. They're kind of dry. You see how small the plant is? The flower's a little bit dried up, but all of these little heart-shaped plants, let's see, here's one. There it is. Isn't that beautiful? It's This area is full of them. Here's what I mean. Uh, this is a weed, but it's going to be a nettle. It's going to have a beautiful flower. I can't, like I'm not gardening this year. I don't have the time and I, I, I need to stay out of the pollen. Well, we put a whole bag of apples out here because they were old and came from my friend's office. Somebody had left them there for a long time. And uh, somebody is eating and hauling those off. We kind of feed the birds back in here. I've stopped right now because there's a squirrel that eats the seed and then the squirrel is in our backyard every night and Olivia tried to chase it the other night and it was not a pretty sight. I cannot let that happen. She stumbled, you know, and fell and I, oh my God. So, um, I got to make sure the squirrels just stay on out of here. See, there's a couple more nettles that are going to pop up, but it's kind of a, oh, well, this is also a pretty wildflower that pops up in some areas on the property. That is something we pinched from somebody's yard. We did purchase these yellow begonias in Tyler when we, before all this stuff happened, we, uh, we had to go to a doctor's office up there and this is probably pinched from somebody it's a kalancha and it's really pretty so there's the begonias there's a lizard on that one a lot of these lizards live around here which is nice because when we first moved in they did not but we water we keep things watered this is also a real pretty purple plant of some sort. And those back there are gladiolas, but they have not grown. You see how we've got, even up by the house, this is wild blue bonnets have ended up up here. So that's what we're doing today. I hope everybody's good. I want to come on camera at some point and say hi. But, um... I'm not feeling like it right now. I'm not, not looking too good. <laughs> Alright, well we'll see y'all later. Take it take care. Keep your chin up. <laughs>